Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's my great honor to present my research. My name is Yi Xiongjia from Shanghai Tech University. The title of the paper is Power Network Parameter Estimation with Voltage and Current Magnitude Measurements. The first thing that I want to show you is the introduction. At present, the methods for parameter estimation in power networks can be class classified into conventional estimation schemes and uh, the meter matrix estimation schemes. Conventional estimation methods follow the idea of the conventional two-terminal line parameters estimation in a power network. The consequent is to consider any two adjacent buses as a two-terminal system by using line parameters estimation techniques in a two-terminal system. The branch parameters corresponding to the two terminal line can be fully estimated. Thus, it requires PMU installed at both ends of the line. Moreover, conventional estimation methods do not fully consider the entire topology of the system. For the admitter matrix estimation method, it estimates the line parameters with consideration of topology information of the network. However, in order to ensure synchronization, present methods still require installations of PMU at all the buses. Besides, researchers also proposed methods based on estimating the admit matrix. The consequent is that the voltage vector and the current injection vector can be related through admit matrix. Once the admit matrix is fully estimated by measuring the voltage and the current injection of each bus, the line parameters of the network can be fully opted. This method fully explores the topology information of a power network and avoid measuring currents on most buses in the system. But the limitation is it still requires installations of PMU and the generator buses to ensure synchronization, which may still increase costs for a practical power network. By relying on the magnitude measurements of bus voltage and bus injection currents, we proposed a novel power network parameter estimation method. Through this way, the installation of PMU can much be avoided, and the phase angle information that is unknown can be estimated. Here in this page, I will show you the modeling of existing power network parameter estimation method. Consider an N-bus power network system. The voltage phasors and the current injection phasors can be related through an admit matrix Y-bus, as shown in the left equation 1. Note that the vector I and the vector V are all measurements. Only the matrix Y is a parameter. Since the I is a current injection vector, it means that if the ITH bus is connected to a power source, then the ith intra of y is non-zero, otherwise the intra of i is zero. From the graph theory, the admit matrix can be separated into three parts, which are incidence matrix and two diagonal matrix respectively. Based on this equation, we can obtain one equivalent formulation shown as below, after separating the row at the imaginary part. Note that here are two assumptions in this model. The first one is voltage and current phase measurements are all available at every node of the power network system. The second one is the load is assumed to be only with the imaginary part. After reviewing our model, due to the space limitation, we only demonstrate the simulation results in a standard 9-bus system. There are three generator buses, bus 1, bus 2, and bus 3. Three loads, six branches, and six, three transformers in this system. 
The available measurements include magnitude measurements of voltage and all the buses, and current injection magnitude measurements, and bus 1, bus 2, and bus 3, as shown in this figure. To ensure the redundancy of the problem, the number of snapshots for this system is 6. The visualization of the absolute error of YRE and YIM is shown in right. Here, the zero inches of the matrix are represented with the white color. The maximum absolute error of YRE is 0 0.012. The maximum absolute error of the YIM is 0 0.04. It proves that the proposed method is accurate for a small bus system. And we show the conclusion. In this paper, we proposed the iterative method to estimate parameters of a power network. No need for PMU placement, especially for wide area power networks. And our paper can avoid measuring phase angle information over voltage and current injection. Both the small bus system and the wide area system are all accommodated. What's more, the estimated admitting matrix enables very accurate power flow results. Thank you for your attention.